to this tutorial. Um, today I want to handle something that uh, so many of you have asked me and uh, it's in regard to custom um, icons and symbols in your QGIS project. And um, today I want to show you a very simple way to uh, basically handle that. And um, uh, one of the challenges, I understand one of the challenges that uh, when you're working with a GIS project, sometimes you want to show some uh, icons that are uh, ideally uh, like they, they, they ideally look as if they are true representation of what is on the ground so for example here on this QGIS project I have a hospital layer and as you can see they are all uniform uh, circles with a green field so in this case I would like to turn off um, or to turn on basically um, icons that are, look like a hospital so in most cases uh, here in QGIS, um, I could ideally go directly with um, the top of hospital icon or symbol that you can see here. Uh, but options of adding more symbols, uh, ideally you could basically uh, do that here uh, within your QGIS project. So let's get into it. So for you to uh, basically bring uh, many custom icons and symbols into your QGIS project, we are going to use a plugin. And uh, this plugin um, is usually called uh, QGIS Resource Sharing. Uh, I think I had installed it because I have a new version of uh, QGIS. So, um, yeah, I can see already uh, not installed QGIS Resource Sharing high here. This one here. So, basically, this is a plugin um, that will search for uh, uh, basically like a number of uh, collections of these icons and symbols and to bring it to your QGIS project. So let's install the plugin. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, should install fast. All right, there you are. So once you have that, um, basically if you look at your window, um, on your toolbars, uh, this is the icon for the QGIS resource sharing. So once you click on it, um, it has quite a number of collections, as you can see. And you also have settings where you could add more um, more links or more repositories whereby you want to fetch these icons from. So as you can see here, we have the uh, guys like here, icons. Um, we have the QGIS icons. We have so many repositories that are added here. So all the collections, as you can see, here they are. And you could actually select which collection you want to basically uh, install. So, for example, if I was looking at health, um, I could probably see what is included here. Let me just expand this. Uh, there you are. And you can see this is some of the icons that uh, exist. As you can see, they are a bit uh, specific. Like now we have this uh, H or uh, this symbol, which is a bit common. Uh, we could probably want to use this uh, for our layer here. So, I could install this. Uh, repository so it tells me it was successfully installed and it contains 38 uh, files so basically 38 SVGs um, I could search or maybe I would want uh, to have something like Mapbox um, uh, Mapbox icons as you can see here they are so Mac icons and as you can see they are awesome so you could also install that repository like that um, it's downloading it's quite um, yeah these are quite many so 228 uh, icons so I click OK uh, close that and now within my um, my QGIS project I now have these icons or these symbols within my project and if I wanted to use them directly from here I could basically just uh, come here and um, if you look at the different, all these are the icons that come with default uh, in uh, default uh, QGIS. So here on the simple marker, as you can see, I could select down here SVG uh, marker. I click like that, and now down here, I can see I have quite a number of symbols. These are basically the ones that are within QGIS by default. But then we have additional. So look at this, we have uh, UN Ocha, uh, we have uh, Mapbox, we have Health uh, Safety, the ones that we just installed. And if I expand this, I look at the SVGs, I see I have quite a number of uh, these here. And I could probably select this um, as my 
icon as you can see it has uh, come here uh, you could select the one that you need okay so because we are working with hospitals i could basically uh, click on that and then here i could increase the size a little bit the height of that symbol and yeah so i could just basically apply and okay wow look at that so now i have my hospitals with some custom icons and if i was to make a map uh, it would ideally uh, look a bit better and the way i want it to be and this is how you just install uh, symbols and icons into your QGIS. As you can see from this uh, plugin, there are quite a number of uh, repositories that you can fetch icons from. So depending on the theme, if you're working on roads, if you're working on um, hospitals uh, or health facilities, if you're working on schools, if you're working with bus stations, you'll find a, a title or you find a collection of these symbols that you want to install. And you can know which one is installed by, uh, when you look at these, they will be bold uh, on this list. So the ones that are bold are the ones that are basically installed. And if you highlight them, of course, the buttons here, it will tell you it has been installed. So that's how you bring on custom um, or more icons and symbols into your QGIS project. As you can see, it's not uh, that difficult and it saves quite a lot of time and a lot of hassles. Um, you make your map beautiful and make your maps communicate to the audience better so cheers guys uh, if you have any question leave a question on the comments um i'll be glad to answer and if this is your uh, first time here kindly subscribe to the channel because i'll be releasing more videos uh, on qgis use uh, on a weekly basis so cheers guys